What looked like just another camouflaged test vehicle on the streets of the Bay Area has become a source of excitement among prototype hunters. At first glance, many thought it was a cheaper version of the Model Y, perhaps a visually disguised cost-cutting measure. But a second look, more technical, more precise, is enough to realize that something very different lies beneath the camouflage. The lines are shorter, the height is reduced, the volume is contained. Something is off. And it's no exaggeration to say that, based on the measurements collected, what was seen could very well be the first physical appearance of the much-talked-about Tesla Model 2. The dimensions speak louder than any rumor. At just 160 inches long and 58 inches high, this new model is considerably smaller than the Model Y, which measures 187 inches by 64 inches. This isn't a facelift, nor a makeshift adaptation. It's a structurally different proposition. The 68-inch width confirms the company's commitment to a leaner, more urban design. When compared to the current standard of Tesla SUVs, it's clear the project is heading in a different direction, much more geared towards smart urban mobility than transporting families on long trips. These measures place the rumored Model 2 squarely in the compact hatchback category, like the Chevy Bolt, which also focuses on practicality and urban efficiency. But while the Bolt seems to be staying within the segment's limits, Tesla is showing signs of pushing those boundaries with more refined engineering solutions. And this difference begins with reducing weight and volume without compromising aesthetic presence, something that is often difficult to balance in this type of vehicle. The goal here isn't just to take up less space on the streets. It's to redesign how mobility is thought of in cities. And this new prototype appears to have been designed with precisely that in mind, total optimization. The savings in materials, for example, are remarkable. With a reduced width and more compact structure, Tesla is estimated to be able to cut up to 12% of material costs per unit. This not only helps keep the final price below $25,000, but also reduces the environmental and logistical impact on the production line. In other words, it's not just the consumer who benefits. The production chain itself becomes more agile and sustainable. The exterior aesthetic even under camouflage, suggests a design focused on efficiency and function. The lines are smooth, the angles are well calculated, and the gaps between panels are extremely small, indicating a focus on aerodynamics and finish. Even without seeing the details, it's clear that Tesla's visual identity is maintained, but adapted to a new format. And this balance between innovation and familiarity is a smart move to win over both new audiences and already loyal fans. Experts who analyzed the high-definition images and videos noted more than just size, the position of the wheels, the slope of the roof, and even the curvature of the windshield reveal a design conceived from scratch. Nothing appears to have been borrowed or repurposed from other models. Tesla appears to have developed a new, compact, and optimized chassis reinforcing the idea that this isn't an experiment. It's a concrete transition toward the democratization of electric vehicles. Beyond its visual appeal, the car's stance on the move caught everyone's attention. The way the vehicle handles corners and reacts to smooth acceleration captured in the videos suggests a lower center of gravity and a suspension tuned for urban comfort. This further reinforces the hypothesis that Tesla is aiming directly at the heart of cities, with a car that's easy to maneuver, fuel-efficient, and yet technologically advanced. A car designed to be many people's first Tesla. The most intriguing thing is that all of this is happening right before our eyes. And Elon Musk hasn't yet said an official word about this prototype. While the company focuses its spotlight on the Cybertruck, and its promises of full autonomy, this small vehicle appears silently, breaking with the logic of traditional launches. It's as if the Model 2 is being revealed in slow motion, not on stage, but on the streets, in its details. And those who are paying attention are seeing history unfold right there, disguised in camouflage.
From the moment this prototype's compact profile is confirmed, questions inevitably arise about how Tesla managed to balance reduced size with performance and range. And this is where aerodynamic engineering comes into play with a bold proposal. One of the most revealing elements is the roof slope, 35 degrees, versus the Model Y's 28 degrees. This seemingly subtle adjustment completely changes the behavior of the air around the car, improving the drag coefficient by 0 to 02 percentage points. For those who live on the road, this small difference can mean extra miles without recharging. And for Tesla, this is ammunition to beat direct competitors. With a 45 kWh battery, this aerodynamic gain translates into up to 10% more range. In practical terms, this could mean anywhere between 15 and 20 additional miles on urban commutes. This isn't just a bonus. It's a direct response to one of the average consumer's biggest pain points, range anxiety. In a smaller, cheaper car with a smaller battery capacity, every mile saved counts. And if Tesla's promise comes to fruition, the Model 2 could offer up to 220 miles of range with a compact battery, something few currently achieve in the same price range. But the refinement doesn't stop there. The 100-inch wheelbase, 13 inches shorter than the Model 3, doesn't compromise handling, quite the opposite. According to simulations based on NHTSA standards, this structure favors a 52-48 weight balance optimizing lateral stability by up to 15%. This translates to safer cornering, more responsive steering, and less driver effort in urban settings. Instead of feeling like the car floats in tight maneuvers, the driver will have the sensation of absolute control even in tight spaces. And this sense of control extends far beyond the steering wheel. The interior space was designed with functionality in mind not ostentation. There's 93 cubic feet of cabin volume compared to the Model Y's 120, a significant reduction, but one that's balanced by the 45 cubic feet of cargo space available with the rear seats folded down. This represents 50% more storage space than subcompacts like the Fiat 500e. It's the kind of decision that demonstrates maturity in design, less overall volume but more efficient use of the available space. All of this is directly reflected in the vehicle's operating costs. An estimated drag coefficient of 0.2525, combined with an energy efficiency of 4.1 miles per kWh, projects average fuel savings that are less expensive for the user. This metric was based on models from Argonne National Laboratory, which simulates urban and suburban scenarios. In other words, the data was not fabricated for publicity purposes. They are technical projections supported by Tesla's own previous experience, which has already delivered similar figures with the Model 3 and Model Y. Another detail that goes unnoticed by those who only look at the specs is how engineering was applied with real-world use in mind. It's not just about creating a beautiful or fast car, but about delivering something that works better in everyday life less time spent recharging, more agile maneuvering, and silent savings accumulated over the month. The Model 2 doesn't scream luxury car, but whispers smart in every detail, a different proposition from what the market has been offering until now. With this, Tesla signals that it understands the new era of electric consumers. The phase of flashy innovation is over. Now, the focus is on making technology invisible, practical, and accessible. And this new model, with all its strategic decisions, presents itself as a platform that balances energy efficiency, production costs, and practical comfort. Nothing here seems exaggerated or purely aesthetic. Each decision has a specific and measurable function. The true innovation here is quiet. Instead of promising a revolution, this car simply seems to work. Lighter, more efficient, more affordable, better suited to urban life. And all this without compromising the standards that have placed Tesla at the forefront of electric automotive engineering. A natural yet bold transition. And the most curious thing is that this boldness is all in the details. 
hidden beneath an aerodynamic hood and a body that cuts through the wind with precision. With the aerodynamics resolved and the vehicle's body tuned for maximum urban efficiency, it's time to analyze the face of this new Tesla, the front end, the headlights, the visual and structural choices that define not only its identity, but also the design's economy. Right off the bat, what catches your eye is the extremely thin daytime running light, just 0.8 inches tall. This detail may seem insignificant, but it reveals a clear cost-cutting strategy. By using fewer LEDs, Tesla managed to save about 40% on front lighting compared to larger models, and this without losing the futuristic appearance that has become the company's trademark. The main projector, just 4 inches in size, is another highlight. Instead of adopting a complex lighting system like those used in the Model S and Model X, here the design is streamlined and straightforward. This type of choice isn't random. It reduces assembly costs and simplifies parts sourcing while maintaining a cohesive visual identity with the rest of the lineup. It's as if Tesla has distilled the essentials of its aesthetic language to deliver what's necessary without the excesses that inflate the final price. Furthermore, the front end was compressed to a depth of just 26 to 28 inches, about 10 inches less than the Model Y. This compaction seems like a safety risk at first glance, but the data shows otherwise. The structure was optimized to absorb impacts at 5 mm T terms with 20% less deformation, thanks to the clever use of the battery frame as structural support. In other words, Tesla not only saved space, but also improved protection efficiency in minor collisions. Another interesting point is how Tesla used this simplification to intelligently integrate auxiliary functions. The fog lights, for example, are housed in a 2-inch module, which also houses driver assistance sensors and cornering lights. With this integration, the company eliminated the need for multiple redundant structures and wires. According to industry data, this represents approximately $200 in savings per unit manufactured. Multiplied by hundreds of thousands of vehicles, we're talking tens of millions in profit margins or discounts applicable to the end consumer. And the impact of all this on the car's weight is not small either. Just by redesigning the front end and compacting the components, the Model 2 is a 150 pounds lighter at the front. It may seem small, but this reduction translates into an extra 12 miles of range with the same battery pack. It's as if every excess trim has a direct payoff in efficiency, a precise trade-off between engineering and user experience. Who would have thought that a smaller headlight could translate into fewer stops to recharge? The redesigned engine bay, measuring just 18 inches, was designed to house 200 horsepower motors with optimized thermal efficiency. This configuration, 15% lighter than the Model Y's four-wheel drive system, allows the car to maintain good performance without the energy and financial costs of more robust configurations. It's a choice that intelligently balances power and fuel consumption, ideal for urban use, where constant acceleration and short braking are the norm. The hood also plays a role in overall aerodynamics. With a curved and sloped front edge, it reduces air turbulence by 7%. It may seem like a cosmetic detail, but this small change further improves fuel efficiency, helping the car achieve an impressive 4.1 miles per cirrhiclabiut. According to EPA estimates, this puts the Model 2 ahead of direct competitors like the Nissan Leaf, which gets about 3.5 miles per kilodrum. With a smaller and cheaper battery, the new Tesla delivers more for less, a rare feat in any category. These technical decisions, even if imperceptible to the general public, demonstrate a new mindset within Tesla. The company seems determined to prove that it's possible to deliver premium efficiency in an affordable car. Instead of cutting key features, it opted to redesign them more intelligently. And the result is a front end that, despite its minimalist design, conveys a clear intention in every detail to make the electric future more accessible without sacrificing performance or style. If the front of the vehicle already conveys clear signs of a leaner, more functional design, 
The rear is no slouch. Just look closely and you'll notice something different there. Even with the camouflage covering everything, the taillights are incredibly thin, just 1.5 inches deep, and form a continuous line that follows the car's contours precisely. There are no visible divisions or obvious joints. This indicates the use of a single-piece rear panel, a solution that brings not only visual elegance, but also structural efficiency and reduced industrial costs. Despite their small size, these lights can achieve 500 lumens of intensity using a single printed circuit board per side. This technical decision eliminated the need for complex wiring systems, resulting in a 60% reduction in rear end wiring. With fewer components and fewer points of failure, maintenance becomes simpler and cheaper, in addition to contributing to overall weight reduction. This electronic efficiency, based on OSRAM studies on automotive LEDs, shows that the design isn't skimping on quality, but rather refining what's essential. And if the lights already impress with their lean engineering, the trunk lid takes things up a notch. With a one-piece construction, with no separation between the outer panel and the inner structure, weight is reduced by 25 pounds and the number of welds required drops by 15%. This solution also requires less effort to open. It only takes 20 pounds of force to lift the lid, something anyone could do with one hand. It seems simple, but it's the kind of detail that makes a difference in everyday use, especially for those who frequently carry groceries, backpacks, or strollers. Another important highlight is the usable access area. The rear design offers between 38 and 40 square feet of cargo space, a rarity in cars of this class. This makes it easier not only to load large items, but also to maximize interior space. With the rear seats folded down, cargo volume increases from 15 to 35 cubic feet. This puts the car on par with the Honda Civic hatchback, a model recognized for its practicality. But with the added bonus of a 48-inch flat floor and tie-down hooks with a 300-pound capacity, all this functionality is combined with intelligent structural reinforcement. The lower edges of the body have been reinforced with materials that increase torsional rigidity by 10% compared to the Model Y. This extra rigidity improves the vehicle's stability in corners and reduces interior noise and vibration. Comparative tests with Mazda compact prototypes indicate that this type of reinforcement can also contribute to a more refined sound experience, with up to 8 decibels less perceived noise in the cabin. The curious thing is that, even with so many structural changes, the rear end's aesthetic remains true to Tesla's style. Clean, elegant, and functional. The absence of excess conveys a sense of purpose. There are no unnecessary curves or decorative touches. Every inch seems to have a reason for being there. And this is what's most surprising. The rear end's minimalist design isn't the result of blind economy, but a calculated balance between simplicity, performance, and usability. The result is a rear end that almost sums up the car's purpose. A compact, efficient, lightweight vehicle adapted to urban life, but without appearing fragile or cheap. On the contrary, every detail suggests durability, intelligent design, and ease of use. The hatchback is not only confirmed by its body shape, but above all by its practical functionality. It's a car made to load, transport, open, and close easily, effortlessly, and without surprises. And perhaps the greatest merit of this rear end lies precisely in what it conceals, a new way of thinking about the urban car. Instead of following trends, Tesla seems to be setting a new standard, where less is more, where simple is sophisticated, and where each part has more than one function. The rear end doesn't just confirm the Model 2's hatchback DNA. It quietly delivers a design that understands what it means to live, 